Oh no do, oh no do, oh no do. Ay, ay, ay. Another day, another 10 cent, yeah? It's time to go again. Oh, turn the toil. Yes, man. Time to go again. I want to tell some women something tonight. For the, the women who probably married young, been married for a long time, and you lose your husband. And, um, you know, you don't know the street game. Women like myself, especially if you are Christian and you're in church and you live your life by a certain moral code and conduct. It's when you meet someone and they lay it on heavy. In the first, I'm going to call it trimester, like, you know, pregnancy. When they lay it on heavy on you, yeah, man, really, really nice and heavy and act like then your knight in shining armor, your prince of any 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 way they are, they find time for you. They want to see you every five seconds. You know, they want to talk to you. Yeah, you see them doing that and don't get impressed by that. Give it the long haul. Don't impress by what is happening when you just meet because the honeymoon period is always nice. It's always nice. Give it time. Yes, because nobody can hide for long and or pretend for long. And some of these dudes, they, they lay it on really thick, pump a lot of information from you, finding out what you like, what you don't like. And then the next thing you know, when they get you what they want you, they don't they start to treat you like an option. Yes, they start to treat you like you're a nobody. And then the next thing you know. You're holding on to something that is fake in your mind because you say, oh, that's not what it was like when we just met. And you want to get back to the just met period and you can't get back to the just met period because the just met period was fake. Yeah, man, give yourself time. Spare yourself heartbreak. Yeah, man, no, it's, don't invest your emotion in anyone too quickly. No. You will end you will end up losing. Don't forget in some in everything there's exception to the rule. But be smart enough and ask God to let you be as wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove. Be wise enough to pay attention to these things. Pay attention to them. Cause they'll glass gaslight you, stonewall you, and do all those things to you. After they done rope you in, you know, rope you in. Yes, man. And then you are like, you can't see them again. There's no video call again. There's no date again. Then Billy can give you a text. Mm -hmm. They come at you the minute you're pulling back and, you know, pulling back and staying away. They come at you. Because they always have to keep you in their grip, you know. It's part of being a narcissist. They always have to keep you in their grip and keep you on the side for their purposes. We have to be aware of these things. And for the women who are street and know these things, you got to teach us who don't know. Teach a sister, teach a young girl coming up how to detect these things so they don't go through the same thing we all gone through that end, end us end end us end up making us jaded and don't trust nobody and 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 you know start to put back the same kind of pain in the atmosphere because it's what we got served let help us to recognize these types of folks and the form that they come into also on the job, recognize the one who kiki 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 with you, and the minute you turn your back, they la 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 about you. They come, they wanna find out everything about yourself, or about your life, and you think you're having a a personal conversation as you turn your back. La la la, everybody know your business. Mm hmm. We have to be aware of these people. Yeah, man. You have to know who to pull in your circle. 
and who to pull away from. Don't be tricked. Satan come to kill, steal, and destroy. And him cunning and he sly. In cunning and he sly. And he will use anybody that will allow him to use them. And he knows your weakness. If you're lonely, he you know what to do. If you desire a husband, he you know what to do. If you want a friend, he you know what to do. If you have the need to be accepted, he you know what to do. If you always want to be a part of or don't want to feel isolated, he knows what to do. So let's be aware. Let's be conscious. Let's re Even if we don't have anybody to teach us these things, let's read some book. Let's read some book because some people who have these experiences put them in a book. Let's read some book so we can open our eyes and help us not to be, be deceived by the Satan seeds. Okay? Anyway, <laughs> that was a bit heavy. But anyway, um, hope you all having a wonderful night. Sabbath is over. Yeah. And it's time to go on the toilet. I got two Sabbaths. You know, my Sabbath is Saturday and Sunday. So um, church for me tomorrow. Um, so anyways, uh, hope you all have a good night. Stay well, be well, stay safe. And always, no matter what is going on, be the kind, loving, awesome, authentic person that God created you to be. Remember, Jesus loves you, and so do I. Bye-bye.